Oh boys, have I got a video for you guys today. Tick eating the Nightmare of Ashihama with cabbages at level 9 combat. This one should be pretty fun. Here we go. Brand new account stepping off Tutorial Island to tick on one of the hardest bosses in the game, the Nightmare of Ashihama. In this series we've got one goal and that is to set some crazy records over at the Nightmare. We're going to be going for the lowest possible KC, then the lowest possible solo KC and then to finish things off. The lowest possible Nightmare of Ashiyama hard mode KC, which is going to be pretty spicy, that just came out. But yeah, in this video, episode number one, we're going for the lowest possible KC, and it's going to be pretty ridiculous because you don't actually have to kill the boss by yourself, you can get a team to help you, and then you'd be sitting pretty sweet. So we made this account, got ourselves a Fury, Regain Bracelet, Brimstone Ring, and the beautiful Cabbage Cape. Then we went on to get the event RPG, this is plus one attack speed, so it's like 25% more DPS, so we are pretty much a big beast now. Smashed out the two quests required to take on the Nightmare of Ashihama, which is Rune Mysteries and Priest in Peril. Got a couple of magic levels here, because our low level combat doesn't really matter, we need to deal a lot of damage to the boss, a lot of damage to the pillars, and don't think that's going to happen at level 4 combat, but get a load of this, we are less than 30 minutes into this account and we are ready to take on one of the hardest bosses in the game the Nightmare of Ashihama, but before we do, let's take a second to thank today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the one and only Fishing Clash. Fishing Clash, a free to play mobile game that is available on both Android and iOS. With over 60 million downloads and a 4.7 rating on the App Store, this might be one you guys want to check out. If you want to play this game, download it for free using the link in the description and put in my code that's on the screen. Now, you can catch hundreds of different fish in this game. I've been blasting it all morning, managed to get myself a couple of bass, some salmon and even a catfish but I've heard that there is even sharks and sea monsters in this game later on. You can collect and upgrade all your fishing equipment, your rods, your lures, everything like that to give you a better chance at catching some big boys. There's over a dozen fisheries and loads of locations around the world for you guys to explore in this game including Loch Ness for all you Scottish lads. There's also PvP, you can duel, challenge and compete in tournaments and championships in this game. There's also weekly events to play through, so never a dull moment in Fishing Clash. If this game looks like your cup of tea, download it using the link in the description and my code. If you put in that code, you get 130 free pearls, one gold pack lures, one pro Florida license, all for free, which is pretty damn sweet. If you like the look of this new player promotion, just whack in that code and you'll get all of that stuff. That code there is available until the 7th of August. You do need to be kind of quick. But yeah, once again, massive thank you to Fishing Clash for sponsoring this video. Let's crack on with some bossing. So we smashed out the two quests required to take on the Nightmare of Ashiham. I got level 7 magic and I decided to even up my stats a wee bit. Got a couple of attack levels, a couple of strength levels, and then we got level 10 magic. Now this is massive. I can now use a divine magic potion to go up to level 13 and I can use fire strikes on this account which will completely shred the pillars as you guys can probably know, you know. Fire strike can hit up to 8 I think it is. Yeah, we're pretty much an absolute beast. We are heading straight out with our cabbages, our event RPG and our fire strikes to take on the Nightmare of Ashihama. Here we go, just need to chat to this green girl Shura and we are ready to step into the ring with this big boss. I think I've got a wee suspicion here that it'll be chatting to Shira a lot on this account. I get the feeling we're going to die a few times. But that is fine, I'm going to master the old tech eating and stuff and then we are going to completely wreck this boss. So the first KC, all we need to do is deal enough damage to get considered for a kill. Everybody else in this like mass world will deal enough damage to kill the boss. So to start off I don't even need to completely kill the boss by myself, I just need to survive at level 9 combat in here fighting the Nightmare of Ashiyama. To complete this what I'm going to do is tick eat some foods. I'm bringing in some pizzas to get my health a wee bit above 2 HP, you know whenever there's husks or whenever there's walkers, never need more than 1 HP. For the rest of the fight I'm just going to sit at 1 HP and tick eat some of these attacks. And it will be fine, we'll die a few times when we get the hang of it and then we'll just walk through it no problem at all. So yeah, this here is my very first attempt and as you guys might guess, didn't go too good. A couple of husks spawn, I thought they spawned under me, turns out they didn't, but I panic at and at just one tick too soon and then I was dead. This needs to be tick perfect for an entire fight so it is definitely not going to be easy. We're not going to talk about attempt number two, let's just say it didn't go as planned. Attempt number three though, attempt number three was pretty juicy. All the way through phase one, all the way through the pillars, and then the sleepwalkers come and you get hit for a guaranteed five. Completely forgot about that, but I'm going to count that as a massive win. A full phase complete, that's 33% of the fight complete right there. 
We're just going to skip over attempt number four. Attempt number five, I got the husks. Now I have a big brain strategy for whenever I get the husks. There's two of these weed dudes who spawn. They both have a max hit of 14 each. I have 11 HP. So if the husks spawn, I'm pretty much dead. It's not really a strategy. We just run back and try again. Super easy. Attempt number six, seven, eight, nine. They were good practice. I'm going to say they were good practice. Definitely learned a lot in them runs. <laughs> I don't even feel too bad about these deaths though. We're paying 60k per death to the coffer, so this is a good money sink. It's good for the game economy. Out here fixing RuneScape. Attempt number 10, 11, 12 and 13. Four in a row, back to back to back to back. We got husks and died. Super unlucky considering how many people are here. Like it's very unlikely you will get hit with the husks. But attempt number 14 was beautiful. Super smooth through the first phase, no problems at all. Super smooth through the entire second phase to the pillars and I was getting the hang of this It was tick eating perfectly everything was going super smooth And then he turns around and punches me. You can't tick eat melee I was just extremely unlucky where we're standing the exact second that he used the melee attack really unlucky That definitely could have been it attempt number 18 and I am pretty much perfectly tick eating every attack from the nightmare of Ashihama I've got the timing down to a T but I'm still not able to get through this full kill. Either I'm dying to the husks, or more commonly than not, four out of the last five runs, I've died to this. People not killing their walkers after a pillar phase. If all of them get killed, I get hit for a guaranteed five, and I can heal up above five HP, it's not a problem. But if one walker gets through, I get hit for a guaranteed like 20, and I don't have 20 HP, I've only got 12 at the minute. Did get one HP level from kicking her, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, a load of times in a row, people were just letting these dudes through. And I was getting killed, so I decided to fix that and do a wee bit of training on the account. Start off with X marks the spot for the 300 XP lamp. I'll use this in strength, it'll get me a few levels without any HP XP, which is quite nice. Then I head over and got level 40 prayer. This does give me quite a few combat levels, but I just think it'll mean I can deal a lot more DPS during the fight. Every time you tick it, you're delayed from your next attack by 3 ticks, 1.8 seconds. So over the course of a fight, if I tick it like 50 times, I'm losing about... I don't know, 70 seconds of attacking in there, just be tick eating. So having 40 prayer will actually increase my DPS massively because it won't be eating as much. So now we have level 15 combat. I did notice that I could get two more magic levels without getting any more combat, so went for that as well. Smashed out level 17 magic, we can now use air bolt. So way higher DPS and way higher defensive stuff as well. Higher HP, higher prayers. So should be able to survive loads of these kills and eventually work up to getting that KC. So then we headed straight back over to the Nightmare of Ashihama. And here we go boys. After about 20 or maybe even 22 attempts, there's a few I didn't even count where I just walked into the room and died after a few seconds. But this here took a long time practicing. But after we trained up, got the prayer and all, it was super easy. Just flew through this entire kill. Actually, that's a lie. There was a second here in phase 2 where she swapped my prayers. Kind of forgot about this. And it didn't get 43 prayer, only got... 40, so I couldn't actually protect from the range, but that was fine. Tick eat them attacks, got through phase two, all the way through phase three as well. Completed the kill at 15 combat, that is pretty low. We could definitely do lower, but it doesn't count. We want to get KC, we want to get that pet chance, the chance to get the Nightmare of Ashihama pet drop. And unfortunately, here on this beautiful run at 15 combat, we didn't deal enough damage. We almost died at the last second as well. If he had a ran there, probably would have died. But there it is, completed the full kill at 15 combat. But unfortunately, we did not contribute enough to be worthy for a reward. But that's fine, I'm going to completely do this over and over and over, increasing my DPS every time until we find the lowest possible combat where you can deal enough damage to get the KC. So let's crack on. We smashed out 5 strength levels, got ourselves up to 17 combat and also bought myself a black warhammer. So here we are, 17 combat, smashed out a full kill, no deaths, 0 deaths which was pretty good. But unfortunately 17 combat did not cut the mustard either. Just to make 100% sure, I smashed out a second kill on this trip at 17 combat. That's pretty good, 2 kill trips at 17 combat. I did run out of good food at the end but just tick it some of these cabbages, you know, so that was fine. No luck at 17, tried again at 19, didn't cut the mustard. Tried at 21, 22, 24 and still not getting a case even though I'm dealing way higher damage. So then we went back to the drawing board, smashed out Tree Gnome Village, tried a few kills with Addy Weapons, no luck with an Adamant Mace, no luck with an Adamant 2H, then I smashed out two more quests, Fight Arena and the Grand Tree, which give me 40 plus attack. Then we got the Beastly Hill Giant Club on the account, but even with it, even with me getting double the damage what I was getting before, in this here kill I got 330 
strength XP, which is like 70 plus damage. I thought that would have been it. Plus all the damage I deal with magic to the pillars, but unfortunately no luck there. But we are not giving up on this goal that easy. We went over and smashed out waterfall quests, which gives us a load of attack levels, up to 45 attack and a load of strength levels. Boost our combat up a good wee bit, but gives us way, way higher DPS. Then I got level 50 magic, and this actually didn't give me any combat levels at all. I was melee based before after doing waterfall quest. So I was able to get 50 magic without getting any combat levels. Now you can have the exact same range level as your mage level without getting any combat if you don't boost your HP up, you know. So it can end up to level 50 range, and this unlocks a really, really powerful special attack weapon. This is a bit of a big brain play here. I unlocked the magic longbow. Now most people think 50 range is the best spec weapon is the magic shortbow, but it just would not hit on the Nightmare of Ashihama, whereas the magic longbow, the special attack in it, ignores a monster's defense. It hits every single time, or at least it rolls a damage hit. You can still roll a zero, you can still roll no damage, but it has to hit, it has 100% accuracy, you know, if that makes sense. So now I have guaranteed damage every single time to the Nightmare of Ashihama. I've got way higher melee damage and way higher magic damage. I think this should be us sitting pretty sweet. So we headed back out with the new setup. I was pretty hyped heading out with all these gear upgrades thinking we were going to smash this straight out of the park. The magic longbow was insane. Every single special attack hit, it was brilliant. But unfortunately on this run, the Hill Giant Club let us down massively. It only gave us 182 strength XP. It was actually really strange. The next three runs after doing Waterfall, I got crazy low XP. I got a 182, a 202 strength XP run. And then to top things off, I think it was a 238. Yeah, 238 strength XP. The three runs after doing Waterfall quest, I got lower XP than the three before, which is just strange. I got loads of strength levels, loads of attack levels, way higher DPS on paper. But in the next three runs, I got lower DPS than the ones before doing the quest, which is pretty crazy. Didn't get the kill there. Then some legends in the CC. If any of you guys want a really cool CC to hang out with, hop in mine. I'm not saying it because it's mine. I'm saying it because some of the dudes in there are just pretty cool. But yeah, these boys were like, oh, we're doing Nightmare. Anybody want to come? And I goes, I'm pretty low level. I'll only come if you don't have a five-man team because if it goes above five, it scales. And there's just four of them going out to do the Nightmare. And I was like, hell yeah, I'll jump in. Went out, done a trip with these legends, and because it's much slower in a five man team, instead of doing like 200 XP in the whole kill, we ended up doing over 600 XP damage, and that cut the mustard boys. Have a look at that 36 combat, 1kc at the Nightmare of Ashihama, an 800 plus combat boss being taken down by an absolute noob. I actually thought I'd get away with this KC much lower than 36 combat. So I think there is definitely room for improvement here. Somebody could definitely smash this record out of the park. But I think what would be more interesting than that would be to beat this record on a hardcore Iron Man. I think we should have a crack at that sometime. We do still need to get the lowest solo kill where it's just me fighting the Nightmare of Ashihama. I think I could probably do that around 60 combat, maybe. It's really tricky because the healers in the middle phase, the phase two, are just really, really tricky. If you don't kill them fast enough, they heal the Nightmare up higher than the DPS you can put out. So yeah, we got a 36 combat Nightmare of Ashihama kill. I actually went on to complete 10 more of these kills because I would have loved to get the Nightmare of Ashihama pet at a crazy low combat. Thinking about the damage you need to clear to get a KC, I think it's around 100 because most of the kills that I successfully completed and got the kill at around 100 damage. It says there I'm only on 318 strength XP, but also done a load of damage with the magic longbow. So yeah, I think you need to do 100 damage to the boss and also a load of damage to the pillars. And there we go, 10 KC at the Nightmare of Ashihama at 37 combat. That's a pretty good flex. For any of you guys who want to know some of the stats here, we died 77 times. It took 5 days to complete. I thought we'd get it done in like a day or something. We give Shura 4.62 million GP. Costs you 60k to reclaim your items every time you die. And we took the boat 90 times. That cost us 900k. So yeah, it cost a couple of mil was a load of fun and we still have a wee bit more to do at the Nightmare of Ashiyama. Hope you guys have enjoyed and once again massive thank you to Fishing Clash for sponsoring the Isle channel. Pretty awesome of them. If any of you guys want to check them out use the download link in the description below and that code hogfish to get some promotional stuff you know. And if you made it this far maybe whack some of them buttons below and put a wee comment in for the algorithms as well. Anyway I will catch all you guys in the next video very soon. Take it easy. Bye.